I've been running iOS 18 on my main device, which is the iPhone 15 Pro Max for a week now. And I wanted to share my initial experience with it and really answer your questions about bugs and battery life and whether you should update to iOS 18 developer beta one or you should wait until the public release. Hey everyone, it's Andrew and welcome back to the channel. Let's start with my experience so far. And honestly, all of the changes are fantastic. I love how quick and simple they've made customization. For me, I've landed on keeping my apps in dark mode, which I think looks really good. For the lock screen controls, I've found it really difficult to use anything other than the flashlight and camera. It's just something that is so ingrained in me, but I'll try and switch it out more. I did have the silent mode switch for a bit, but I ended up switching back. Overall though, iOS just seems more refined and nicer in pretty much every area of iOS. And I think it's a really good update. And it's way better than iOS 17 or really anything that Apple has given us in the last decade. I will say getting used to the new look and layout of the Photos app is a bit tricky. It's still something that I'm still getting used to. I don't think it was really broken and it's definitely something that didn't need fixed, but it is something I am finding a little bit difficult to navigate in. As far as it goes for battery on the 15 Pro Max for me, it isn't good. And honestly, that is expected with a developer beta. I just would expect the iPhone 15 Pro Max to be a little bit better. Like over the last 10 days or so, I'm getting an average screen time of seven hours in 15 minutes, but this isn't really good data because I've charged my phone a lot more throughout the day. So it's not necessarily giving me accurate throughout the whole day data. I'm sure battery life will improve as the new releases come out, but for now I would say battery life is pretty bad. And I'm really only doing normal tasks like getting into Apple Notes and going on YouTube and social media, and it's surprisingly bad. And I have experienced some heating on the back and sides of my iPhone. I know the 15 Pro Max had some heating issues early on, I think it will be fixed again probably in the next beta, but I don't know about you guys, I've been getting a lot of heat. And in general, I really haven't had any major bugs that I can actually point out and be like, this is a massive issue. I don't know if this is intentional, but if you're editing a widget and you wanna put it in the very center, you can't. So I don't know if that's intentional by Apple or it's an actual bug, but I did report that in the Apple feedback app. If you are experiencing any issues, make sure you have the feedback app and you submit feedback. I will also say if I change this to, let's say a bigger widget like this, it shows that I need like access to the weather, which I've already given. And if I try to edit this on my home screen and make it bigger, the data just never shows for me and I have to like either shut my phone off or delete the widget and try it again. But that's definitely an issue that I've experienced. I've also experienced some customization issues with control center, but that's going to probably be updated as well. This is totally new. Same thing with the way that we can customize widgets now. So it's expected and those will get fixed in the next beta or two. And I did ask people on Twitter and threads and YouTube as well what their experience has been like. And most everybody has had battery issues. So keep that in mind as well as just some minor bugs that are expected. I haven't really seen a ton of users having huge problems. So it's a pretty stable beta for it being the very first developer beta out for iOS 18. So it's pretty impressive in that sense. So should you update to iOS 18 developer beta one? And honestly, in good faith, I can't recommend it. There's still so much unpredictability with putting a beta on a main device like this, but I've done it for years now and haven't experienced anything really that bad, but I could just be lucky. So definitely keep that in mind. I would say do it at your own discretion. And if you have a secondary device, try it on that. If you can, I would go ahead and wait for the public release. It comes out probably within the next three weeks or so, so we can expect it next month. And I would say the next beta release for iOS 18 developer beta two will probably be released next Tuesday. 
That's my guess, and a public release two weeks after that. So I've been doing a lot of iOS 18 content. I have all the other beta updates as well on iPad, Mac, as well as Vision Pro here. If there's any other things that you'd like me to cover, let me know in the comments below and go ahead and like this video. I really appreciate it. As always, guys, thanks for watching. God bless, and I will see you on the next video.